Hey everybody, Ian here, TradeStalker.com with your recap for May 12, 2016. Well, it was quite an eventful trading day. As you can see, we gapped up a good bit and then just reversed it immediately, then came back up again and then reversed it again. So we had a pretty wide-ranging, all-over-the-place day today. Um, but the levels, once again, were uh, were excellent at keeping you on the right side, as was Mike's commentary. Um, let's just take a look and see what kind of trades you could have had here. If you take a look, you can see uh, from the open, we uh, the gap open took us up to this uh, resistance level at 69.5 to 70.5, one of the last resistance levels, and uh, <coughs> turned around from right there, brought us right back down to a prior resistance level, which could be acting as support at 64. So zone to zone right here, or level to level, I should say. And then the market consolidated for a bit, just barely poked through this and uh, ran up again and just came just shy of the 69 half, 70 half level again before rolling over. When it finally broke through, it came down to the 61 half to 60 half level, which gave a nice bounce up to the prior level, which now is acting as resistance. So this is pretty much just by the numbers here. Uh, like Mike says, um, and uh, you could have gotten a short off here and then came right back down through the 60 half, 61 half zone where it consolidated for a bit before finally breaking through. And uh, you can see this is kind of like what I talk about when it breaks through and pulls back is a good opportunity to get in for a short, especially when you have some strong directional conviction like it looks like we have here. Um, and you can see the uh, 60... Uh, excuse me, 60 half zone broke through and took us straight down to the first official support, which was 58 to 57. And you can see that acted um, as support for a little bit here. Not too much of a move, but again, in a strong day, that's kind of what you expect. We smashed through that and came down. And that's why you want to make sure you use stops in case you were just sitting in this trade trying to get back up to this level. You don't want to take a bunch of heat here. Believe me, I've done that before myself. It is not fun, so you want to be careful. Um, Coming down to the 53-52 level, uh, you can see you got another little bit of a bounce before it broke through again and came just shy of this 48 level, just a couple ticks. So you can see how powerful these levels are. Sometimes you don't even get to them and the market bounces. Bounce back up again. Uh, that 48 half ended up being the low a day and 52-53 uh, acted as resistance again, um, or I should say acted as resistance when it came back up. Came down again and double bottomed here. And then that was it, and we were off to the races. But notice when we pulled back again, we got support here at that 52-53 level after we came just shy of the 57, and then finally broke through this 57-58 and straight up through the 61, 61 half. So again, if you're on the wrong side of this thing, you got to make sure you use stops to protect yourself. And you can see uh, we finally got up to actually I, I should notice we pulled back here to this 61 half level, which acted as a nice um, support here. And then came up to the 64 half, 65 half again. And Mike was mentioning that this could be a top up in here. And sure enough, that did end up topping and capping the day out. And uh, we came all the way back down and closed about halfway through uh, the range. So pretty, pretty crazy eventful day. But hopefully you guys uh, were safe and got a lot out of uh, using the levels. If you're not uh, using these levels, you definitely want to uh, consider checking it out. Having Mike's guidance during the day along with these levels and a game plan is uh, is the way to go. Hope you guys have a great evening. Any questions, you can contact Mike at mike at tradestalker.com.